Real Truth Daily. This is Daily Truths with Dave Alvin. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Daily Truths. We've been talking about the character qualities of Jesus. And yesterday we talked about that he wasn't quarrelsome. He didn't make a big deal about what he did. He didn't brag about it. He didn't stand in the streets and say, hey, come look at me. Look at what I've done. Look at what I've accomplished. Look at all the things that I've done in my life. No, that wasn't Jesus. And today we talk further about his attitude towards us. And Isaiah uses a powerful image of what we are and how Jesus deals with what we are. This is what it says in verse 20. A bruised reed he will not break, and a smoldering wick he will not quench. Now, what's that talking about? A bruised reed is like a, a, the stem of a plant that's bent, that's been bruised by the wind or maybe uh, trodden down by by foot soldiers or whatever, okay? And a smoldering wick, that's like a wick where a flame has just gone out and it's still smoldering. Now, what's this saying? We're the wick, we're the bruised reed. Our lives are bruised by our sin. We don't shine as brightly for the Lord as we wish we could or should because our wick, the wick of our life, is contaminated by our transgressions. Now, Jesus knows that. He knows that we're the wick. He knows that we're the bruised reed. And what does it say? He's not going to break us. He's not going to quench or, or put out that burning fire, those burning embers. What's this saying? He's not going to judge us, ridicule us, condemn us, separate us from his presence, or cast us into hell because of our sin. How does he deal with us, rather? Well, he doesn't break the reed. He doesn't quench the wick. He doesn't put it out. What does he do? How does he deal with us? He deals with us in love, in pardon, in forgiveness, in wiping away our transgressions. What a savior we have in Jesus. That's how he deals with us. When we come to him with a repentant heart and a trusting attitude that says, I believe that I'm a sinner, but I also believe that you went to the cross and died for my sins to pay the full penalty for my wrongs. As a result of that, Jesus loves, Jesus forgives, Jesus does not condemn, he doesn't break the reed, he doesn't quench the smoldering wick. What does he rather do? He lifts us up, he pardons us, he holds us close to himself, and he says, you are still mine. I think of the story of the adulterous woman in John chapter 8. Here she was caught by the Pharisees in an adulterous act. They bring her before the Lord Jesus, and they say, teacher, she should be stoned. The law of Moses says so. And Jesus is writing in the dirt as they say that. And I wonder, what was he writing? Could it have been the word grace or forgiveness or love or mercy? While they were saying this, he's writing in the dirt and suddenly he gets up on his feet and he looks at all of them one by one. And he says, whoever of you is without sin, you be the first one to cast a stone at her. And one by one, starting with the oldest ones first, they drop their stones, they walk away. They knew that Jesus had called their bluff. They knew that they were bruised reeds and smoldering wicks. And they walked away. And all that was left was this adulterous woman and Jesus. And he looks at her with loving eyes and he says, where are your accusers? And she looked around, she said basically this, they're gone. They're not here. And then Jesus said this, I don't condemn you. I don't accuse you either. Go and leave your life of sin. No, oh, man. She was a bruised reed. She was a smoldering wick. And so many times, friends, in our lives, we are that way too. And Jesus looks at us. If you could see him right now in the midst of your sin, in the midst of your life contaminated by wrongs, Jesus looks at you with loving eyes and he says, where are your accusers? Satan is gone. He can't accuse you. I've defeated him. Where are your accusers? And we look around, we say, they're not around. And he, he says this, neither do I accuse you. Neither do I condemn you. Your sin is forgiven. Go and leave your life of sin and be a shining light for me. Stand straight for me because I have 
called you by name. Nothing can separate you from my love. You belong to me. And now I send you out in life to be a shining light for me. And we say, aye, aye, Captain. I will follow. Lead me, Lord Jesus. Guide me, Lord Jesus. Take my hand, Lord Jesus, and lead me all the way through life. And when I trip and when I stumble and when I fall into sin, I know that you will lift me up because a bruised reed you will not break, a smoldering wick you will not quench. My friend, Jesus loves you. And you may not feel like it. You may not sense his presence. You may not feel like you deserve his mercy, and we don't, but he loves you just the same. And he will carry you through life. He will never abandon or forsake you. He forgives you because of what he did for you on the cross 2,000 years ago. Indeed, a smoldering wick he will not quench, a bruised reed he will not break. That bruised reed, that smoldering wick, that's us. And he loves us just the same. I know I've shared this in DT before, but I want to share it again. Billy Graham was asked once, what's the most profound theological thought you've ever had? And this was it. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. My friend, bask in that today. And that is today's Daily Truth. Have a great day day in the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for tuning in to Daily Truths with Dave Allman. If this ministry is blessing you, please consider supporting us by sharing this channel with a friend. You can also like, comment, subscribe, or leave a review. This helps us tremendously. Come back tomorrow for your next Daily Truth. <laughs>